Want me to help you find your opening? Well, I would do this. I would start with a black screen, and I would put a little speck of light in the center of the black screen. I would have the light grow in intensity, and then like the Big Bang, it explodes. Life often makes no sense. There's something about stories that gives a sense of order and purpose to the world and allows us to live other lives than the life we're living. The best ideas that I've had have come to me when I have least expected them. They're always intruders, but they're welcome intruders. Once you get an idea in your head, it just keeps nagging at you until you express it. That's the feeling of the idea, that it just becomes irrational. There's a woman sitting in a car in a field. Now I need to know why she's sitting there. I begin to believe that there's something of myself that I can share with an audience. If I'm thrilled, that's a good sign. If I'm laughing, that's a good beginning. It's the spark. It's the living with the thing. It's the outlining of it. I find writing to be the hardest part. Writing and rewriting for months or years. She dies, no, she lives, he dies. The first draft, the second draft, the third draft, the fourth draft, the fifth draft, the sixth draft, da 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 yada 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 yada. Then you begin to build the collaboration that will help you go on that voyage. You've got to find the cast of your dreams. For every character that I decide to do, I envision memories for them. I create the dimensions of who this woman is. Imagine if you were this person, and imagine if you lived in that world. You have to think about the environment that the story exists in. How are you going to create that environment? What's the look going to be? What's the tone? What's the palette? How's it going to work? The costumes, the props, the set design. Little by little, and the elements start to come together and build on each other. It's electric and amazing. You know, the thing is becoming alive. You walk onto the set and you smell this amazing aroma of sawdust, wood, and plaster. You just sort of disappear into this fantasy world. So then you have to think, well, how are you going to shoot this thing? Because you're not going to shoot a movie chronologically, so you're often starting the movie shooting the most dramatic, most painful, most agonizing scene first. My anxiety often starts at about 3 o'clock in the morning. The wheels have started turning. There is an excitement and a dread. You definitely go in with a very concrete sense of what you're aiming for. Then you have to be willing to throw it all away. Nothing I'm doing is good. Nothing is working. The shot goes up, and it's not right. And that's, that's torture. It's not a big deal when it's just you and a pad of paper, but when it's countless numbers of talented people who are all waiting around and the sun is going away. You're under so much time pressure and you're kind of holding your breath. Tick, 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 tick. The pressure is on and it's, it's, it's horrifying. Fear is good. At least for me, it's good. The fear of failure is a kind of octane that keeps me wanting to stand on the edge of the abyss, but at the same time not plunge to my career death. It's all falling apart. and. An and a new possibility appears. There are those moments when the actor is sitting there and she's doing the thing, the thing that inspired you months, sometimes years earlier. Everyone is quiet and the crew's just focused and everyone's done their job to get you to this moment. Somehow everything is in sync. There's truth pumping through your veins and into the story that you're telling. There is no greater moment than that when you feel that you are really cruising and you're one organism telling one story and you're all telling it with each other's contributions. Nobody's telling it alone. The sun is in the perfect place, like the birds go right where you could never, like there are moments where you're like, it, it's impossible. Finally, you wrap the project and then it goes out into the world, and you hope that all of these decisions that you were part of, that you collaborated on, it will move people and touch people in a way that it seemed like it was inevitable. Nothing works if the themes don't connect with the audience. They have to. Sharing stories with one another makes us feel less alone. Everyone deserves to have their story be told. That's what makes us special, is the tapestry of who we are as human beings. To become involved in someone else's life, 
that's the idea of what a story should be. A story should make you forget your surroundings, should make you forget your agenda, your day, and hopefully makes you forget yourself. <laughs>